Something so I thought, why not do it live? See if it works. Mm. Nothing like a bit of uh, added pressure, is there? So, what we're going to do is I've already made a couple of things and then I'm going to try something new. With um, this is basically uh, trying something different with the unicorn horn mold. So, I'm going to do something Eastery with it, and then I've got something that I've been doing and I'm going to finish off for you. That I've done with the um, crystal egg mold and I've got some little bunnies to show you so it's just going to be like 15 20 minutes that's all I'm going to keep you for today as if it's <laughs> all I'm going to try and keep you for today so I was just looking up on the website what we uh, when when we went live there um, just to see uh, what the prices were on the items so I can tell you if anybody asks as we go along um, but there's one missing so I might have to ask Simon to look for that in a second so, how many have we got I'm there, sure Simon? that one of our lovely viewers would, would tell us how, what, what the price is that you They probably for. will, yes. yeah. So, what I want you to show me really is the little bunny rabbit mould, which is this one. That's the only one that I didn't get to before, because Simon was like, no Claire, it's time, it's time. I was like, oh, just give me a second, no, no, it's time. So, I didn't, ha I didn't get the price on that one yet. Um, but I'm not doing anything with that. I'm just going to show you what I have done with that. Um, yeah, so let's make something. So, the white chalky. Well, as ever, we've got a lovely audience. So Fabulous. Are they all saying hello? We've got two, pe two people on, on YouTube. Way. And 128 on Facebook. That's not bad. That's very good. Can't grumble. A, a practically unannounced live. On an afternoon. So I perhaps should have melted this beforehand, but I didn't get to it. So Yeah. Well that's 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 your first ten minutes taken up melting that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we might be half an hour. <laughs> might take a little bit longer. Just give me a second to go and warm that up. So I'm gonna keep talking to you. I'm gonna start saying hello to people. Hello to people, hello to Jill Cook and Judith Forrester on YouTube. Well, that's Hi, Jill that, Cook and Judith Forrester. That's YouTube done. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's anybody else just joined on YouTube, say hello. Have you got um, on Facebook? Facebook, there's too many, isn't there? We've got 129. I expect you to get through them all <laughs> just while I melt the chocolate. Um, Wayne Moore says hello to uh, Angela Black. I don't know if he's saying hello to us. <laughs> you're not saying hello to me today, Wayne? I'm sure he has. And Angela Black, actually. Lovely Angela Black. So we've got, yes, we've got the, the usual crowd here. Fabulous. 
Nikki King. Thirty seconds. I'll walk Miles, back in a second. Julie Wallace. Sam K. Rita Kearns. To name a few. No favouritism, just random people. Just, just random randomly. selection as you work your way from the yes. list. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make... If I missed your name, sorry. I'm just going to make some catechicles today, really, but they're not going to be unicorn ones. I wonder if anyone can guess what Easter theme today. So can you guess what I'm going to make? I've okay. just got to say, Nic Nicola Walkie says, her daughter has just said, Claire and Simon are in the kitchen. That's trouble. Wow. What's that mean? Oh dear. What, why? Have we, have we got some sort of reputation? Have we? I don't know. I think we must do. Well, it's never... Let's, there's always a lot of laughs, isn't there? When it's, when it's just Yeah. Me. Let's be honest, it's never completely serious, is it? Do you know it? what it might, might have been a good idea? It might still be a good idea. Uh-huh. Moving the microwave to, to, to this end of the kitchen. No, because I'm nearly finished with it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I promise you. Sure? you. Yes, I promise. I'm nearly finished with the microwave. So, this will be the last blast it's having, and then... In fact, I'll just walk back to it now. It's going to beep any second. Just walk back to it. I don't know when the sprinkle pickles will be in stock. Do you, Claire? Uh, right, I'm not, I'm not the person that knows this kind of stuff. No. So, that's why we usually have the lovely Carol here with us, or Karen, because they have all the inside information on that stuff. I don't. I just make nice things. Well, I hope they're nice. So, and, uh, yeah, that's about it for me. Karen Naylor says... How do you, Karen? Six mini bunnies, 7.99. Perfect. Thank you, darling. How are you feeling? I hope you're okay. And thank you for joining us from your sick bed. <laughs> there we go. Has anybody put any guesses in for what we're making? Apart from a mess. I'm clearly making a big oh, old mess clever. there. I don't know. Well, would it be me? Would it even be me if I wasn't making a mess everywhere? It wouldn't, would it? Eggs and bunnies. Yeah, but what am I, but what am I doing with this? Guess. You need to guess. Are you making... Here's a big clue. Is it something to do with rabbits? Bunnies? It might be. Are you making bunny tails? Nope. Are you making rabbit horns? Nope. Rabbit horns? <laughs> 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 what are they called? Like jackalopes? But they have two, don't they? Jackalope, yes. Right. I'm just going to colour some, uh, just a small amount of my chalky green with this cocoa colour. I know how much these are. They're 3 99 They're an absolute bargain. Cocoa colour. And that is... Cactus green. Karen Ahern says, carrots! Yeah! We have a winner. We're making some carrots. So just give that a quick mix in. That's a lovely green. Did, did, did anybody spot the orange? Well, I did show them. Did you? Oh, yeah, I did. I did. I didn't see that. That's because you don't pay attention. I'm staring at it. <laughs> Yet still didn't notice. I am trying to look at. Uh, at mm -hmm. I am. I mean, you are doing task. Two, two jobs. I am doing three jobs. I'm oh, reading. of course, YouTube. I'm reading YouTube comments as well. Of course, of course. Alright, just grab a perfume bag or two. So prepared, aren't I? <sighs> okay, so let's pipe some little green bits for our towel. Crinkly bag, if you couldn't tell. Any chance you could hold that up to a microphone and just really scrunch it to make a lot more noise? <laughs> <laughs> this is also why we need somebody else here as well. <laughs> what, to scrunch the bag? No, no, because without somebody else here, you've just got carte blanche on you to just speak constantly. Yeah. Well, no, I have to, don't I? Otherwise, people get bored if just watching you fill a bag. How dare you. Nobody wants to see I've that. I've got it on good authority that this lot love bag filling, so... That's buttercream bag filling. Oh, yeah, it's different, I suppose. Chocolate. This is quicker. Yeah. Much quicker. Okay, so I'll just bring in some parchment paper. And, because I've never done this before, I'm just going to do some guesswork. 
Because there's nothing like making something... You've never guessed anything before. <laughs> there's nothing like making something for the first time in front of a live audience, is there? So, I'm just going to chop a tiny, teeny, tiny hole in the end of the bag. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, oh. Yeah, can now. Tiny bit. Oh. Sorry, I know where it is. I've got it. And into the bin. So, I reckon... You could stay there, please. Okay. Thank you. You reckon I could stay there? Okay. Yeah. I reckon we're just going to do a few. Are you winging it, says Kim? Yeah, totally winging it. I reckon that's quite good for carrot top. Yeah, I don't know what, what you're going to do with it. Do you not? Know no. I think you've probably got a good idea, haven't you? Okay. Were you seriously? You didn't know what was going to do it. Not sure how you're gonna go fit it to the. Well, neither am I, but we'll okay. find out in a minute, won't we? In a few minutes. They could be alien hands, couldn't they? ET hands. Little froggy handies. Little frog hands, yeah. See, it's multi purpose already, this live, isn't it? I'm just going to do a few different sizes because, you know, because I don't know. All, not all folks have the same size hands. Pretty much. Yeah, I think they're all right. It's descended into nonsense now, hasn't it? Well, it doesn't usually <laughs> take long, does it? There we go. So, you know, I've got enough green chocolate there to do millions of them, but we'll just do those and pop those off to the side. Now I think I'll get, no I won't, I'll do a little that, because I'll use quite a bit. Let's get our bowl of white chocolate and grab our orange cocoa colour. Orange. Yeah, that's definitely orange. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Is everybody quiet or is it just you that's yeah, quiet? Yeah, quiet, yes. It must be very interesting if they're not chatting amongst themselves. Jackie Min loves bag filling. See? And it's always cleaner than. don't know. What's Is it that like? where the sentence finished? Than. Um, mm. <laughs> um, what are those cocoa colours? Right, the cocoa colours are. Um, they are like colour mill, they're an oil based colouring. Are they, these, are the, uh, these new ones? Are they're, they, they're new? Are yeah, they on well, the website yet? They are definitely on the website. They've been on for a few weeks now. Um, and they are British. It's a British company that makes these. So um, they're a better price point, really. So I think it's the exact same amount as the, that you get in um, Colour Mill. But it's a, it's a nice long bottle instead of the, the short wide ones. So they store really nicely. But they're a lot cheaper as well. They're really nice, oh, really strong colours. They're three ninety nine. They're an absolute bargain. Mm. So I'm just going to take a paintbrush now and just brush this chalky up the sides. You know, you could sort of swill the chocolate around in there if you wanted to, but it's not so easy with such a long mould. Yeah. If you cut your mould up, you. If you're one of those people who. If you're one you, of those people that does that, not me. I don't do that. You would never do anything like that, would you? I don't fair? do that. No. No. Definitely not with all my own stuff. No. Definitely not. So just brush it up the sides, or like I say, you can just sort of swill the chalky around in there. And with one layer on, you can pop in a stick. So I've just got these cute little green ones. These are also on the website. Not entirely sure how much they are. In fact, I'm not going to pop that in quite as far, you know, because I want a bit more 
You need room for you. I need room for me. For me, um, chopped green bit. What's it called, that bit? On a carrot. Mm. Leaves? I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> not convinced that it's leaves, but... Stem? I think there's a specific word for it, because it's all like... Uh, fuzzy like fennel, isn't it? It's essentially the plant, isn't it? Yeah. It's the whole plant, but the green bit, that's... that's yeah. It is. Okay, so sticks in. Yeah. And then, just going to see if we can brush a bit more of this up the side. So we just want to make sure that we've got a nice coating on the sides and round the stick, just so that we know we're not going to get any holes, it's not going to break as we pop it out of the mould. Carrot tops. Greens. Yeah, carrot tops, yeah. Carrot tops. Was that you or was that our lovely No, audience? this is our lovely audience. They always know. Fab. Okay, just gonna let that firm up a little bit. We might end up putting another thin layer in there. Oh, I've knocked a little bit off. So no doubt we will end up putting another thin layer in there. Okay, so that just needs to firm up for a little bit. I might just pop those in the fridge so it's a bit quicker. I wouldn't normally yeah. at this stage, but we will. It's a room in that fridge. Yes. Just about. Yes, because you've only got three minutes left till you've had 20 minutes. So you are joking. You do need to speed it up if you want to finish in that time. <laughs> oh dear. We knew, didn't we? Everyone knew. I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? You're going to go over half an hour. Oh no. Have I really been talking that long? We've Can't both been talking it. that long, yes. Okay, let's check our little green bits. So they are already set, so we can just peel those. So they, I think they look pretty, oh sorry, down, pretty, you should have said pretty, down pretty. a little bit. They look pretty good. Just peel those off. And I'm inclined, I don't know, would you use the back of those? The flat side, or would you use the... Hmm. I like the flat side, yeah. I think I do. So yeah, we'll do that. Oh, you broke a finger on. off. Oh, Claire, what are you doing? We're doing been a bit massive. rough. You've been a bit rough made with three. me. Uh, oh, are you going to stick them on both sides of the stick? No, I wasn't going to. They're just spares in case I break any of the fingers off. Them. It's a good job, isn't it? Nikki King go. says we need at least two hours, Claire. We're at least two sorry. hours. Sorry. Do you know what? I can't do that. It might happen yet. Let me show you my bunnies. Show you my little bunnies while we're hanging on. Oh god, I nearly dropped that. I nearly threw it across the room then. Don't know if you notice the sheer panic and flat. <laughs> I was picking that up there. So I just made some little pastel bunnies because I think pastels is really cute for Easter. How do you want to show? There we go. Cute little pastel bunnies. I can't see exactly what you can see at the moment, guys, because I've got tape across my screen that somebody said that oh. they would, somebody said they would remove it. But uh, that's because I'm making videos. I work inside a square, so there's tape on my screen, so I know where to keep it. We have to keep you in a box. Yes, pretty much so. Oh, look, little Wednesday Adams just saying hello, peeking over the edge there. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the mummies. So, <laughs> well, she doesn't. She hates everything. So, yeah, except cute, bunnies. Except bunnies. <laughs> so there we go. That's my cute little... That's the only reason I wanted to show you this mould, basically, was because I made some cute little pastel bunnies out of it. And what, yeah, what did Karen say? Seven ninety nine. It's one of those... Seven ninety nine. yeah, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's one of those moulds that um, doesn't look as good, very good in a mould. No, it doesn't look very good at all. You can't really see all the little... Go the little <clears> face. You need to see the you need to see the bunnies. Yeah, you need to see the little faces, don't you? They're so cute. They really are. They're cute. And I again put white little white spots on his bum with them. Um, I used uh, a whitener and cocoa butter and the little ball tools just to pop those 
little spots on the body. Okay, right, I'll pop these back because I'm pretty sure I can probably get those cakes pulls out of the fridge now. Don't drop them, don't drop them. Right, 20 past. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just be there quick. Really, really quick. It never works out like that, does it? Okay, let's put some more chocolate on the sides. So Claire Hatch says, wearing a Wednesday top on a Tuesday? It's very confusing. In, I play by my own rules, mate. I cannot and will not to be tamed. What have I done with my chocolate brush? There it is. You've not had it on every day since Wednesday, have you? Yeah, could you not smell me? <laughs> Even from there. Yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. I didn't know I was going live today, so I didn't really, you know, I didn't really c contemplate my outfit this morning. Yes, Linda, you can see the palm spears, or you want to see them closer. Yeah, I'll yes, show you there those. are palm spears at the back. Um, Let yes. me put this layer on, and then I'll bring them forward. Yeah. Yeah. They come in packs of two. Um, so I know that much. We've done a bit. We have not finished the video on that, of course. We've not, have we? No. Well, we, I have, you haven't. Yeah. Just waiting on you now. No pressure. So there will be a video out in the hub showing you making that. Yeah, the cake with the palm spears on. Yeah. And a short version will be on Instagram, won't it? Yes. And Facebook. And Facebook. But the detailed version with me explaining what I'm doing and showing the whole process will be in the learning hub. Sorry, I'm not talking while I'm How doing long this. can you keep the bunnies on the carrots for, please? Uh, it depends what you put inside them, basically. So I'm putting um, like a cake pot mix inside these today. So you really only want to keep these for a week. Uh, but if you put um, a ganache in there, you can flavour your ganache with a flavour shot. Um, that will last in there for ages, absolutely ages, like months. I like to say three months max, really. So uh, providing that you um, boil your cream when you make the ganache, and you know chocolate sugar natural preservative anyway that will last for months i often fill these up with ganache or you could put like a biscuit or something in there with them or a nice lotus biscuit or something like that or bits of oreo or you could even um put um it'll come to me even like chocolate fingers that kind of thing wafer biscuits in there as well that works really nicely right so I'm just gonna let that firm up a second longer and I'll just show you those palm spheres that you want me to see this is why it takes me so long because I get sidetracked and I show other things as well honestly it's not just all on me well they've got the set it's not like you could be doing any you know any work on them there we go mm. So all of them are available in both sizes. I've just brought across one of each to show you. So red, gold, pink, and purple. Obviously I use pink and purple, and I'm going to bring that cake across in a second, I'll show you. So they are in packs of two. They're in packs of two, too two large the, or two, too small. Two the same size. Yes, as far as I know. Well, that's what I took the photos of, so. Then that's what it is. You know better than me. I, yeah. I'm not sure on I don't the, know what the prices price. Are, Karen May was still there, she can tell us, surely. I wasn't expecting to show you. But I'll show you this cake anyway. Bear in mind, this has got a big thumbprint in the front of it now. So, um. That's not on the video. That's not on the video. This is af afterwards that happened. So. We won't. We won't dog people in, will we? We won't. We'll we won't mention it. any names at all. So, this, this cake um, I made last week. And Simon recorded that, and we've done um, a voiceover for it today. Uh, so there's a nice long video on how to make this, um, and that will be going into our learning hub group. Um, and a short version 
we'll make it onto Facebook and Instagram, but it, that's not a detailed version. That's like 30 seconds worth of footage on how it was made. Ignore the uh, big old thumbprint there. <laughs> it was very fresh and somebody touched it. So, um, yeah, so basically what we do is the watercolour effect, the texture down here, and the um, this is all edible as well. They're not polystyrene balls. So that is what we'll learn on that video. Nikki King says, Keppel did the thumb mark. Nikki King, we weren't mentioning any names. I think she's already confessed, actually. Oh, she did it on a live. <laughs> she did it with an audience, so yeah, they, they already know. Okay, let me just get rid of this. So, Karen Naylor says, the palm toppers are two, two for £1.79. Lovely. Well, that's the bargain, isn't it? Is that, is that the large and the be. small? They're both the same price? As far as I'm aware. They are both the same price, because I did upload them to Instagram, I just couldn't remember the exact amount they were. Okay, so let's get these filled, and a back on them, and then into the fridge, so we can reveal them and finish them off later. So what I've got in here, this is how I store my cake pot mix, just in a Ziploc bag, and all it is, is, this is vanilla cake, you can do it with chocolate cake, red velvet, lemon, whatever you like, it's just cake that's been crumbed up and then mixed with buttercream. I do it with my gloves on because you're basically squishing up food. So it's it's nice hygiene reasons to, to do this with your gloves on. So all we do is take a little piece and we're gonna pop that into our carrots. I feel like these are gonna look really cute. I hope they do. I'm quite excited to see what they're like. Uh -huh. says carrot cake. I don't know whether she means make it with carrot cake. Yeah, make it with carrot make cake. It with carrot yeah, cake. absolutely. Carrot cake's perfect for it because it's an actually really moist mm. cake anyway, isn't it? Or whether she's just saying it is a carrot, it's a cake that's shaped like a carrot. I think Claire was probably saying making with carrot cake. Was it Claire Hatch? Yeah. Yeah, I reckon she was saying make it with carrot cake. That would actually be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be great. I'm more of a make them out of whatever I've got in kind of person. That would require a lot of forward planning. Yeah. I'm not that guy. Unless you had some carrot cake that was, um, that was just lying around. Just lying around and you needed to yeah. find, a, find a cake pot for. Well, this is just vanilla cake. This is the trimmings off of vanilla cake, basically, where I've levelled it. So Leah, Leah Gillum says... Can you freeze the cake pot mix after it's been mixed you with the sure, buttercream? You sure can. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yes, it is. I defrosted it this morning. Yeah, you sure can. You can like it's better if you flatten it out in the bag instead of just doing it in a big lump because it takes ages to defrost if you have it in a big lump. I discovered that this morning. But what I used to do when I was making cake pops all the time was that I used to um, roll them all into balls, roll it all into balls all the same size. On a bit, put them on a baking sheet, put them in the freezer until they'd gone a bit hard and then put them all in a Ziploc bag and back into the freezer and then I could just pull out as many as I wanted at a time. Which is very handy. Right, shall we put the backs on? Then do something else, get these in the fridge and then we'll be ready to reveal them. I'll go in the piping bag. I always like to use a, one of these crinkly bags when I'm backing these off, I might pour it in to start with, but for backing it off, I just think it's much neater. If you use a pipe, I've got the same problem I had before. I can't open them with my gloves on. Oh, and we've got a, an an, a late answer. Well, I'm late reading it. Go on. Jill Cook says they're called fronds. Fronds, there we go. Nice one, Jill. I knew somebody would know. I knew it was an F word and I was related to fennel, but I didn't quite get there. Pop some in the bag. Don't need all of it.
hole in the bag. And then I can just fill these off neatly instead of chocolate going absolutely everywhere. Which I really just don't like them looking scruffy at the back. I mean, it's not a big deal if it does, you can sort of cut away any excess. Sorry for any background noise you might be hearing. <laughs> What's going on with you? <laughs> wow, you, you are very gurgly today. Yeah. Okay, that's those. <clears throat> Let's just give them a little stay. Okay, let's give those a little tap. And I'm gonna put these in the freezer just so that they firm up really quickly for us because like, I'm well over time already, it's been half an hour. Can you just open the freezer for me, please? Thank you. Let's show you the other cool thing. I thought I'd just show them something else as well because it'll take you like two minutes to make those cakesicles. So I'll show them something else as well. <laughs> After 32 minutes. After 32 minutes, here I am showing you something else. Right. So, look what I've got. Do you want to go overhead? Ta da! How cool are they? Let me just. Show you how sparkly and cool they are. I'm going to make one of those now. What do you think? Silence. Sorry, what would you like me to say? I just wanted to know what they thought about the uh, um, crystal eggs. I'll show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to do this one in purple as well. What have I done with the glitter? Oh, I've got a question. Yes. For you, Claire. My order has just arrived. I ordered dipping solution. Is this the right one to add to the luster powder? Absolutely. For painting? Yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, dipping solution or rejuvenator, it's exactly the same thing. It's yes, just please, says Sue Mary. Well, I don't know what she's saying please for, but did you, did you ask? I don't remember what I asked, but I'm quite sure it was something to do with these eggs. Would you so like to see me, me lost on this egg, maybe? Was that the question? Probably something along those lines, yep. I'd have thought so. So I'm just brushing some water onto it. Right now, I've had some blue on my brush. But that's just some water. Just making the sieve. And I already had glitter on here, so that's not helpful to show you. But I'm just making the surface where I plan on putting the glitter. Uh, a bit waxy so it holds. And what's on the brush? Just, just warm it's just, water? It, well, it's like cooled boiled water. It doesn't matter if it's still a bit warm. Glitter, the glitter that's right in front of me. Nikki King says, yes please. Yes please, can you do them now? What? Is it? Yeah. I, I think I asked if people wanted to see me make these. All right. And I'm doing it anyway. I didn't wait for an answer. It's just like assumed that you would want to see it and just got on with the job, I think. I think that's what happened. So I'm using the... So it's one you prepared earlier because we haven't got time to make another... No, thing. so essentially I just made these exactly the same way as we've just done the cake pops, but I've done them in milk chocolate. And I'm just going to brush on. This is the medium Wonder Dust Silver Sparkles. And straight on. To where you've popped the water and it really clings to it because you made you you roughed up that surface first it sticks much better i proper love this glitter i would put this on absolutely everything 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 what's for lunch glitter sandwich. I would put it on everything because it's just so cool. Just 
iron up all the cakes that are making you know it could just use a bit of glitter everything's just better with glitter on it isn't it I'm like a toddler in that respect Evie lags out with a bit of glitter on it <clears throat> right how cool is that and it's sparkling. Oh, let me look zoom at in that. on that. Let me zoom in on that. You zoom in on that. Are you zoomed in? <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so shiny. So shiny. But you helped me see a little bit that wasn't as shiny as I'd like. There we go. Isn't it gorgeous? Right, pop that down. Get rid of my glittery brush. Any excess, just waggle that around in the top, try and knock off a bit. And then put my lid back on so I don't knock it over. Don't want glitter everywhere. And then I grab my big luster brush. And I'm doing this one in regal purple. The other two are bright gold and uh, midnight blue. Unlike me to use the midnight blue. I thought you liked midnight blue. Yeah, it's alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my favourite. <laughs> I put it on everything. Love it. So shiny. So shiny. Right, here we go. So, flat luster brush, and on we go. That looks so cool. Well, I think it does. Hope Could you else. move it up? And then, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I was hogging the view, wasn't I? To your left a bit. There? To me a bit. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Why don't I just look up? Yeah, you could do that. I could look up. It would make things yeah. easier for both of us, wouldn't it? And then we have it. How cool is that? Very. Put it on my kitchen paper with the others. And ta-da! I'm in the right spot. Run overhead. Not really. Oh, yet. look at those though. So shiny. I'm going to come in a bit. Oh, yeah. They're just cool. I'm not touching them because I've got all their colour transfer, but I just think they're so cool. Great. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed that little tip mm. anyway and what to do with those. So let's get the carrots. Just get rid of them. Shall we get the carrots out? Oh, yes, please. I'd love it if you would. Give my surface a quick wipe down and try and get some of the purple off my hand. Or else we might end up with purple carrots. That's the thing anyway, it doesn't matter if my carrots go purple, does it? There's your carrots. Thank you. Right. That, that, that. That. I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for a few seconds and I'll be back. So we can attach our frog hands to our carrots. So they're, they're not solid chocolate, they're um, a cake pop, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, cakes are cool. Cakes are cool. I don't mean the carrots, I mean the, the, the eggs. Yeah, they're cake pop as well. Mm -hmm. But again, you could fill those with like biscuit, wafer, yeah. caramel, any, absolutely anything that you wanted, um, fluff, anything. It's really nice. Uh, you could even do them with like chocolate bombs, you can put two together. So let's see how these bad boys look. Oh my god, they look so good. Already they look really good. Look at that. Wow. Proper like little carrots, aren't they? Love them. So excited. So excited. Right, one, two. And. Why don't you get your little monkey? There we go. I'm really chuffed with those. So I bring those in so you can see them. I've got my green chocolate here and I think what I'm just going to do is add a little bit on the stick 
just touching the carrot itself. And let's pop on. There we go. So I suppose you could make these without the stick, but they're nice there to support the frond. Yeah. Is that the one? I got it. I remember that. There we go. And we are done. I'm dead chuffed with Beautiful. those. Beautiful. Yes. What do you think? Really cute little Easter idea. Mm. Let me look, hang on. Don't move them. Oh, Don't move them. Sorry. Finding the right spot. There we go. Hey, look at those. Amazing. I think they look really cool. A lot cool. of love for that. Is that? Yeah. Yes. What do you think, guys? Is that a good idea or what? <laughs> I just suddenly came to me and was like, carrots. They could be carrots. They could be carrots. So they're yeah, not just carrots. limited so to a unicorn carrots. horn. They are the shiniest <laughs> carrots you have ever seen in your life. So I am really, really pleased with them. So let's just pop those there. I can bring these back in. I'll tell you what, I'll take them off the paper. So you give you, do you want a bit more room? Yes, please. Uh, I'm just not picking these up. I'm just not very good at picking things up, apparently. One, two. Three there. Wow, amazing. So who's making these? Bringing these on these. Anybody think they might make these? I think you should. Yeah. And then I'll just quickly remind you of all the prices of what we've used. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Oh, we could have them nibbling at the carrots. Let's do that. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that adorable? So they'd be nice in a little treat box together. So um, what we've shown you is the unicorn, that's the unicorn capsicles mould, is uh, $7.99. The bunny rabbits is $7.99. And the eggs... Uh, the crystal eggs are ten ninety nine, and your cocoa colours are three ninety nine. So that's everything I've got to show you. I, what, how how far over am I? It's it's forty three minutes you're on now. You've gone. You're going to show me double. now. <laughs> so I can like, say sorry, sorry everyone. Yeah, I'm just going to be fifteen or twenty Kim, minutes. I said, didn't I? They're not mice. They're rabbits. Bunny rabbits, Kim. Uh, bunny, rabbits. bunny rabbits. Show us a little bunny rabbit tail, just to prove it. A little tail. Look at the whistle bottom. Got a little. Little bunny is. rabbit little tail. Bunny rabbit tail. Yeah. How cute. Nice. They'd have a big long tail, wouldn't yeah. they, if it was a mouse? Or a curly tail. Yeah, or but I think I called them mice in the first time we used them. What a sausage. Right. So yes, we better go before we get in trouble. But I really hope that you've enjoyed. Um, much longer this afternoon than you were supposed to have with us and um, I hope we'll be allowed to play out again because <laughs> we might not be because <laughs> it never quite goes as quick as we think it's going to go so but I really enjoyed myself and I hope you like the new cool Easter ideas and we will see so, you soon a couple of people just oh. ordered the egg mould so that's excellent good. love to hear it so we will hopefully see you soon are you saying bye bye what? are you saying bye bye are you going to say bye-bye to bye -bye. everyone? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining you. us. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.